If you're watching this, I'm dead. Still flourishes in Gotham, lurking in every shadow. You don't need that mask. I know it's you, Rachel Ghoul. You allowed this blasphemy, this sacrilege. Did you think you could keep it from me? <laughs> Survive this! 
Unlike you, I'm not afraid of dying. I'd rather keep my humanity. be dead before they get you. Your precious family. I will slaughter them. One by one. And when they have drawn their last breaths, I will burn the city to the ground. You won't get a chance. Gotham is their city now. If you're watching this, I'm dead. This is a code black. This message was automatically triggered when I destroyed the cave and everything it contained. I know what's coming won't be easy.
leaving you the Belfry as a base of operations. Some of the technology is outdated, but it has the gear you need and all of my files. Many of you knew Bruce from Gotham's celebrity pages. A handsome, charming billionaire. And he was that. But he was more than a headline. He was my nephew. He was a friend, a mentor, and a benefactor to those of us gathered here today. And to those of you who didn't know him as we did, I want to tell you this. Bruce was Gotham. He loved this city more than he loved anything. He was a protector to this city. He worked tirelessly behind the scenes to bring justice and equality. There's nothing he wouldn't do. No project he wouldn't champion if he thought Gotham would benefit. And I think in remembering that, we remember Bruce as he truly was. had my back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. Good luck. And goodbye. How's Alfred? What you'd expect. Took him three years to agree to a vacation and Bruce turned up dead. He asked for some time. He knows none of us were there either, right? What about you? You let Jacob Kane give the eulogy. He offered. He thought it'd be easier on us if he was the one to do it. He's Bruce's uncle. Hell of a speech. All that talk about a protector who works behind the scenes. If he only knew. Catherine wouldn't be there if she suspected. I can't see the anti-vigilante police commissioner presiding at Batman's funeral. There's something else she doesn't know. She has the body of Batman's killer in her morgue. Rachel Ghoul is listed as a John Doe, slated for cremation. And what if the League of Shadows finds him? If they drop their dear leader in a Lazarus pit, he won't be so dead anymore. You want to break into the GCPD headquarters for a what if? Be my guest. I decrypted the case Batman sent with his message. We should focus on that. I looked it over, but did I get everything? It doesn't look complete. I think Raish interrupted him while he was writing. He says this has implications that could shake Gotham to its core. Ominous, but not exactly helpful. I saw a few places we should poke around. Construction sites, a quarry. He also mentioned a Dr. Langstrom. Anyone know him? He's a zoologist at Gotham University. Not sure what his connection is, though. Let's divide up the work. We can meet at the Belfry when we're done. Get it up and running. Who gets to talk to Langstrom?
I'm at Gotham U. What's the story so far with this professor? Kirk Langstrom. Judging by the half-finished file with the code black, Batman was digging into him hardcore. Eyes open and ready for anything, then. on this faculty dude, Kirk Langstrom. Right. I'll call it in on the way to the morgue. Bad news. Langstrom is dead. Any idea where I can find his office? I remember reading that Langstrom's office is in Molten Hall on the third floor. Thank you. The balcony doors are open. That's my way in. Body cam recording. Here we go. Cops didn't spend much time here. Langstrom must have died somewhere else. I came from Langstrom's office. Better find something there first. These marks are suspicious. I wonder what made them. All I have is dead end so far. I feel like this might turn into something. You'd like it. I'm breaking into a lab. I always did love a good break in. Even that night you accidentally tripped the alarm? Excuse me, that was you. I'll see if there's anything else to this lead. Stay safe. You too. This is where Langstrom died. You'd think the GCPD would still be all over this lab. Looks like Langstrom was attacked at his workstation. He lost a lot of blood. He tried to get away, and then the attacker pinned him to the wall. Brutal. Langstrom spent his final moments crawling toward that cabinet. Why didn't he try to leave the lab? Holy crap, it's a hidden door. What were you hiding, Dr. Langstrom?
if this movie meant something to Langstrom. The release date could be significant. Langstrom made specific note of these dates, and now I will too. A phone number. It's not a Gotham area code. Could be something. The thermostat could definitely double as a keypad. I've never seen a microwave like this before. Maybe it's for more than just late night burritos. Langstrom's tablet might be remote access to the door.
That did it. Let's find out what secrets this guy was keeping. This is something. Batman's dead professor was researching some real sketchy stuff. Langstrom's desk. What's this? That's a hard drive. Might have some answers. Better get this back to the Belfry. Hey, I think I'm done here. Cops cleared out quick. Missed some weird marks in the walls, and a hidden lab, with an even more hidden hard drive. Sounds good. See you back here soon. Someone see me? Teach them a lesson. I'm on it. I can't focus on torch in this place with all that racket. <laughs> Gotta stop these freaks from burning this place to the ground. Can anyone hear me? Help! They won't let us go! Yeah, 
Unbelievable. Now with Langstrom's hard drive. Finally. <laughs> 